Hello and welcome to Multiframe Webinar 3 Video 8 on Applying Loads. Let's look now at a different kind of load case which is a hydrostatic load case. This applies load to the structure automatically as the result of the hydrostatic pressure of water, earth or uh, some other type of hydrostatic pressure. If I choose the hydrostatic load case we can see we have a name for our load case, uh, the density of the fluid or material uh, that's applying the hydrostatic pressure. We need to specify the height of that above our origin and uh, our gravitational density. We have two different methods of application of hydrostatic pressure. Pressure inside the structure and pressure outside the structure. And we also have two ways of applying it to the geometry. In a 2D problem we can take a cross section through our container and uh, just apply the loads to the members in which case we need a tributary area width. Uh, or alternatively we'll see in a minute how we can have either internal or external pressures acting on patches or load panels. And then finally we need to define which is the inside and which is the outside of our structure and we do that by either using the center of gravity as the interior or using a user defined location. So if I do that we can see that what happens is our water line is drawn and our hydrostatic loads are automatically applied to the structure. So what I've got here is a cross section through a catamaran of a ship, half of a catamaran, and you can see that everything below the water level automatically is applied a load based on the tributary area between frames of the vessel. And we can see the values which are calculated there. So if I modify any of my geometry or what have you, all of my uh, loads will update automatically. A second type of load that we can apply for hydrostatic pressure is to uh, a, um, a panel or a plane associated with a tank or the shell around a vessel or something like that. And we can use this for internal or external pressure. So if I add my hydrostatic load case this time, uh, I'm going to say that the fluid is inside the structure. And I'm, because it's just got plates and patches, Multiframe has detected that and it's going to apply the pressure loads to those patches. Again, we can uh, choose the option of a user-defined location for the interior or let Multiframe find it automatically. And so that generates a water plane and then we'll load the patches below that water plane. If I actually show my uh, plates on the interior here we'll see that a whole lot of loads have been generated. It's a little bit hard to see what's what so if I go to a plan view and I take a slice through the structure and use Multiframe's clipping command I can clip to that selection to like take a slice through. We can see the pressures there. If I go back to 3D we can see the triangular increase in pressure due to hydrostatic load from the fluid on the interior of the tank. So that's a couple of different ways we can automatically apply hydrostatic loads to our multi-frame model. Thank you for watching.